Magandang gabi mga kapatid! Welcome to Yeshua for All Nations aka Wifan Church. I am Sister Jessa Pulvera, your preacher for tonight. Salamat dahil nag-tune in ka today. We are more than blessed to have you here. At dahil nandito ka na rin man, sounds familiar, di ba? <laughs> Till the end, you know what this? The message that God is about to reveal to you tonight. I-comment mo na rin kung saan ka nanonood ngayon. From Dubai ba yan? From the Philippines? Or kung saan lupalop ka ng mundo? We encourage you to interact in the comment section. Just comment Amen if you agree on what I will say today. Or if you feel blessed, just comment Amen. Because the more we interact, the more people we reach. Kapag marami tayong naaabot, the more souls we win. Imagine! It's a simple act of sharing. We become a blessing. Let's do a quick call sa aking lovely mama, mama. I love you. Tuning in all the way from the Philippines is my family, Papa Lujan, my siblings, Wiljan and Alas, and um, best friends, Ara Babes and Angelou, Jen from Baguio, if I'm not mistaken, Ate Ana, Jinky, kung nanonood ka man, Ate Jing Ama, Si Jenna and Orven, all the way from Alforjan. And um, uh, I, I would like to acknowledge also Pastor Ramil, our pastors from Waifan Philippines, starting with Pastor Ramil from Waifan Benguet, Pastor Romeo from Waifan Davao, Brother Jeff Ticanya from Waifan Albay, Pastor Julius Pasi, of course, Waifan Head Pastor, and Mother Juanita Pasi, Antonio... Um, Antonio, Antonio, Kuya Ron, Jen, Ate Rhea, Donna, Cici, um, Denise, Isabel, Datu, Abby, and, uh, Ate Abby, and Elzel Alday, Jay, and Ate Nia, Don, Rafi, and Apollo. Hi, Apollo! Annalise, Javier, Maria, Victoria, Gruta, Cici, Eloha, Frank, uh, Frank Galang, Debbie Grace, Habi Con Habibi Connie, Ate Leigh Lopez, uh, Abu Sam, Atili Lopez from Malta, Abu Sam, Angelica Munoz, um, Teresa, as Ati Teresa, Gay Bugnot, Audrey uh, Kiel Purification, Mother Susie, and si Papa, and Richard, uh, si, at, si Kuya Richard, si Ate uh, Dolce, and si Chelsea. And also, I want to acknowledge everyone na nandito behind the camera po is the ang nagagandahan, nagsisipagan, nagwagopuhan, at nagpapayatang media team. <laughs> media team. And also with me is Ate Michelle, my lovely cousins, Ate Arvin, Ate Erica. Si Kuya Eric, si Kuya Ian, si Pastor. And our mighty lighty, Tita Vidza is here. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I hope, kung hindi ko man po kayo na-mention ng name ninyo, pasensya na. So, maybe it's a reason for you to watch again next time. Kasi i-mention na kayo for sure. So, it is truly a pleasure and privilege to be entrusted with this great opportunity to represent the Lord in this moment. So, thank you, Pastor, for the trust uh, before we start the main course, oh, imagine, appetizer pa lang yon. Firstly, we bring all the glory unto the Lord. So, let's pray. Heavenly Father, our everlasting God, constant one, creator of all earth, the Lord whose understanding we cannot measure, bring in us a new strength, O Lord. Overflow once again your grace in this platform. Allow us to soar high on wings like eagles as you have promised. To run and not grow weary. To walk in faith and not faint. Open our minds and hearts to see you rightly, Jesus. To see, to hear your words clear and loud. Help us to be doers of the word and not just hearers only as you said in James. Hide your servant at your back. Overwrite what I had prepared. May you only be seen in this life. We rejoice you, O Lord, always. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with our spirit. Amen. Hmm? Simula na. Sino dito ang my cell phone? For sure. Nakatune in tayo ngayon sa live stream. Sino dito ang may mga sa bahay? Nako, hindi ko kung wala kang rice cooker. So, when, when these things fail to work, what do we usually do? 
we pukpok. <laughs> di ba? Di ba? Pag the word, pag the remote doesn't work, pukpok lang yan, Jess. Ayos na ulit. Kapag di na kinaya ng pukpok, o kaya kapag nag, uh, nag, nag malfunction yung messenger or yung app mo sa phone, di ba? What, what do you do? You uninstall and install method. So, pag hindi na kinaya ng pukpok method, and ng uninstall method, uninstall install method, when we got stuck, we all resort to restarting. Di ba? We restart our phone. Wala na tayong choice. Restart na lang yan kasi expecting na ayos na ulit pag open ulit ng phone or pag, in- pag plinog mo na ulit yung appliances. Same as in real life. Di ba? All of us got stuck in the middle of our song. For sure. I, you agree. If you agree, comment Amen. Di ba? A failed relationship, a broken dream, a disappointing career, financial setback maybe, or a family struggle. A big mess you can't seem to clean up. As if nothing is going to change. Paulit-ulit na lang. Routinary, sabi nga nila. Tama ba yung bird ko? <laughs> Don't worry. It's never too late. Guess what? You can begin again. Let's all look into a story of a woman who have been offered a restart. So in John 8, in John chapter 8, verse 3 to 11, so let me read it to you in verse 3. As he was speaking, the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in the act of adultery. They put her in front of the crowd. Teacher, they said to Jesus, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. The law says to, the, to stone her. What do you say? So imagine, so ito yun. Alam mo yun, visualize ko yung, yung moment or yung setup dito as movie. Alam mo yun? Heart beating. Tapos yung babae din na drug by Jesus. They're trying to trick Jesus. Ano bang guilty of adultery, diba? So, for sure, moving ngayon, so for sure, natatakot yung babae, tapos unti-unti na yung crowd, punta doon, tapos nakalibutan na siya, diba? For sure, pati yung mga harites dyan, hindi yan, hindi yan titigil lang sa bahay. I imagine nga yung mga nanay, ang kalong pang mga babae, iniwan yung, iniwan yung sinaing sa bahay para lang makita yung magandang event or malaking event na mangyayari in that day. Someone will be stoned. Some is going to die. And they want to witness it. Diba? Ano kayang ginawa ni Jesus dito? And for sure, si ati girl, si ati girl, the woman, alam na niya, na, alam na niya, na, that she needs to pay the price. She, um, she accepted to be punished and she's ready to die on that day. And maybe, at the back of her mind, umaasa siya for a night and shining up. A knight in shining armor na bigla na lang dadating with the horse and with the shield and with the sword. But all she had is Jesus on that time. Diba? Oh, let's proceed to verse 6. They were trying to trap him into saying something they could use against him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote in the dust with his finger. If I were the one, my thoughts would be, why isn't he doing anything? I'm about to die here. Diba? Bakit siya pupulang doon? Sa ground. Diba? Is he planning to save me here? Does he really care for me? Maybe yun yung iniisip ni ati girl on that time. But despite the frustrations, she stayed and wait. Neither way, she will be dead. <laughs> Anyways. Diba? Tumakbo man siya, umalis man siya, stone pa din siya sa death. So, she stuck. She stuck, but she stayed and waited. Still, she waited for Jesus to do something. Finally, Jesus did something. On verse 7, they kept demanding an answer. So he stood up again and said, All right, all right, but let one who has never sinned throw the first stone. Aha! Whoa! Savage! Diba? Sino nga naman sa kanila ang walang kasalanan? Then he stooped down again and wrote in the dust. Verse 9, When the accusers heard this, they slipped away one by one, beginning with the oldest, until only Jesus was left 
in the middle of the crowd with the woman. Then Jesus stood up again and said to the woman, verse 10, Where are your accusers? Didn't even one of them condemn you? And verse 11, <coughs> And the woman answered, she said, No, Lord. Imagine, <coughs> when Jesus said, Sige nga, kung sino sa inyo yung walang kasalanan, siya yung bumatong una. But lahat sila, unti-unting, umalis. It means, they know for themselves na pati sila makasalanan. Maybe, hindi ganun kabigat ng kasalanan dun kay ati girl, pero parehas tayo lahat makasalanan. Nobody tempted to persecute her or hurt her on that moment. Because Jesus, because it is Jesus who moved. Diba? Ina-expect niya yung a knight and shining armor or something miraculous will happen. Siguro minsan iniisip na lang, ini-imagine niya, sana gumuka na lang yung lupa, tas lamunin na lang ako. <laughs> Pero hindi. She waited for Jesus to move. Diba? And it's not the way as what she expected, but, it's, but it is more than what she imagined. And Jesus said, Neither do I. Go and sin no more. So beautiful. Sabi sa ESV, ito yung version sa ESV, Neither do I condemn you. Go! And from now on, sin no more. The woman chose to stand before Jesus and waited. On the moment na umalis na yung crowd, meron siyang dalawang choice. It's either magstay o tumakbo palayo and leave Jesus. But then, she stayed there and waited for Jesus to respond and ask her. And yet, na-receive niya yung isang malaking um, blessing. It's the unforgiveness and the promise, di ba? This woman's life is about to end that day. She is no doubt guilty. The law demanded to kill her. And she is ready to be punished. But Jesus is not done yet. When the accusers offer judgment, Jesus offered her something greater. A promise. Nak, hindi pa huli ang lahat. Go and sin no more. Same thing as what God is telling us today. Today can be different. Today can be a place to begin again. Wag mong hayaang yung mistakes, yung despair, yung sins, yung fear, yung worry, yung sakit mo, or yung regret holds you from the life God has for you. Today can be a brand new start. Pero ang tanong, but how? Paano, Jessa? Sabihin mo nga sa akin, paano ko babalik dun sa, sa buhay na yon na lahat ng, mata, lahat, ng mata sa, lang, lahat ng mata ng tao sa akin is judgmental na. ba? This is how. So, first is, make up your mind to live differently. Sabi nga ni Joyce Mayer, the way you think determines the way you live. Kung iniisip mong matatalo ka, talo ka na, my friend. If you think hindi mo kaya, then you're pointing your life in a wrong direction. And minsan iniisip natin, gagawin ko na naman kasi yung same mistake. Naku, hindi, you're pointing your life in a wrong direction talaga. Sometimes, we become a prisoner of our own negative thoughts. Instead na i-captive natin yung negative thoughts na yun, apos itapon sa basura, no, pati yung recycle bin, inaano mo, kinikip mo pa rin. Begin in receiving God's grace, His power, and ability. How to change, to make up your mind to live differently? You can't alone. But if you begin in receiving God's grace, if you acknowledge that it is only His power and ability that enables you to change and be transformed, kaya mo. Kung ikaw lang, hindi mo kaya. Pero kung kasama mo si Lord makakaya mo. Because you are doing things based on your capability, but through, you're not doing things ba- uh, based on your capability, but through God's ability. So, sabi sa Romans 12, 2 sa NLT version, but let God transform you into a new version, person by changing the way you think. When you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect, unless you change the way you think, you'll be blinded by by so many negative thoughts and you will not be able to see kung ano yung pinapakita sa iyo ni Lord, which is a future that awaits for you. Diba? Change your thoughts and choose to live differently. Second, praise your way to victory. Remember, 
nung Act 16, si, sa Act 16, si Paul and Silas needed rescue because of their seal of for God. Unlike the woman that had been caught in adultery, see, obstacles in our, in our life don't always come because we did something wrong. Sometimes, God will allow you to go through certain difficulties so that His glory will be revealed. Ito yung nangyari kay Paul and Silas. But if you will be faithful in that uncertainty, He will do gr something greater in your life than you could have imagined. Madaling magsimula. Mahirap magmaintain, de ba? Isasabihin ko na naman to. Sabi nila, madali lang na maghanap ng boyfriend pero mahirap magmaintain ng relationship. Okay. <laughs> so, ayon. <laughs> Paul and Silas never stop. Ano ba yung sikreto ni Paul and Silas? They never stop praising the Lord until their problem crumbled. During that time, they praised the Lord. They praised for as long as it took until that praises ay naabot kay Lord and na until those walls natibag yung mga walls nung prison yung nang natibag yung mga prison walls imagine if we do that in our life unti-unti titibagin ni Lord yung mga walls na binuild natin de ba in order for him to pumasok at it change it transform niya tayo to be, to restart again so blessings after blessings promotions health even if you're if you have promotions, if your health is great, if your spouse is helping out around the house, praise God! Diba? But even if hardships, job is stressful, you got COVID positive, your spouse is driving you crazy, unfinished us, still, praise God. Find the good in every situation and praise God with all your heart. Number three. Let God take over the construction project. Have you seen a home builder who starts building the second floor when the first floor is still incomplete? Imagine, for sure, siguro, siguro, bagyo lang sa Pilipinas, wala na yun, nalipad na yun. We sometimes are like that. When we messed up, we know that the belt is unstable, but instead of stopping and seeking directions from the Lord, we just keep on following our own plans. It's pride, my friend. Instead of you humbling that, Lord, I've messed up. Can you please come and fix? No, we're trying to fix things on our own hands. Diba? I suggest you turn the construction project over the Lord. Sabi nga sa Psalms 127, one, except the Lord builds the house, they lo labor in vain who built it. Except the Lord keeps the city, the watchman wakes but in vain. Study God's word. Spend time in prayer. Listen. Learn to listen to His voice. Do what He says. Trust that God is good and He has better plan for you. Be willing to obey even if he says to stop what you are doing and tells you to do it differently. Remember Paul, nung sinasabi, nag, 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 uh, ano siya, nagpe-pray siya kay Lord na, Lord, tanggalin mo na to sa akin. Tanggalin mo na yung weakness, sa, di, uh, yung weakness sa flesh ko. But then, sa, sabi ni Lord sa kanya, bakit mo pinapatanggal yan? Eh, may plano ako dyan. ba? Pray until God, uh, pray until God tell you to stop praying. ba? Struggling in relationship, may God may ask you to change even if you want your spouse to change. Financial difficulties, God may tell you to spend less even if you want Him to give you more. Tired and moody, God may tell you to change your diet and get more rest even though masarap ang rice at bulalo. Surrender mo yung martilyo, yung metro, yung mason, ano pa ba yung mga construction materials dyan. Kai Lord, God won't force you to take the construction away. You should be willing to give it to Him. Kasi ganun, ganun yung love niya, di ba? Napaka-amazing. Hindi ka niya ifo-force na, ako na nga, hindi. Nak, pwede bang ako? Tapos, aantayin ka niya na ibigay yun sa'yo. Ibigay mo yun sa kanya. If you turn the construction of your life to God, he'll, He will build something beautiful. 
Diba? And number four, understand that your history is not your destiny. Babalik na naman tayo sa class. Ba't kinakalimutan na? So, I love this. One of my favorite. Lamentations uh, verse 3. Lamentations 3 verse, verse uh, 22 verse 23. The love of the Lord. Verse morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. So, naaral ko to since I was a child sa church namin. And naririnig ko siya ng paulit-ulit. Hindi ko siya ma-ahan. Hinda ko na, no? The steadfast love, naintindihan ko na, wow, yung steadfast love ni Lord, yung sis niya, brand new every morning. Diba? Diba? brand new every morning. And minsan, dahil nga na-stuck tayo sa past natin, tayo sa uh, past natin, hindi lang yung mga failures, kundi pati yung mga successes, di ba? Kunwari, nanalo ka ng nanalo ka ng basketball nung last time. Akala mo, mananalo ka ulit ngayon with the same strategy and stuff. No, baguhin mo. So, don't be stuck on that failures even that successes. God, uh, God forgave you. And minsan, na-stuck tayo sa ating mga kasalanan, 'di ba? Doon sa shame na meron tayo, na meron tayo. And 'yun hindi mo papakawalan yung sarili mo. Pinatawad ka na ni Lord. The big question is, napatawad mo na rin kaya yung sarili mo? What are you going to believe? Yung shame or yung Bible? It doesn't define you anymore. God words does. Whether you succeeded or failed, it's over. Choose to let go. It's time to look ahead. Restart is different from resume. So when you pause, you have two options. Ito yung sa mga gamers o kung nag-relate kayo. You have a two options, to resume or to restart, di ba? Resume would be titigil saglit o babalik. So titigil saglit pero babalik lang din sa kate. Restart is, a dif is different. Restart is a 360 process. When you press restart, you should be ready na iwanan yung nakaraan and step into a new beginning even if it means to start from the scratch. ba? Lastly, start doing. The way to get started is quit talking and begin doing. Arouch? Ako yun. So, sabi to ni Walt Disney, ano step na yan, it will lead you to great progress. Do not despise the small beginnings for the Lord rejoice to see the work begin. Sabi niya sa Zechariah 4.10. And followed by Job 8.7. And though your beginning was small, yet your latter end would be greatly increased. Mahirap sa simula. Pero pag nagpatuloy ka, mahirap pa din. <laughs> Pero pag nagpatuloy ka lang onte-onte, the reward you will claim. Regardless of your past failure or your present struggle, God offers you a new beginning. Good things happen, but you've got to take the first steps. Principles works. When you work, the principle, the Bible, is a principle. Diba? But if we will not walk on it, if we will not apply it in our lives, it will remain just a principle. Diba? You can't hire someone to do the push-ups for you. Hindi naman pwedeng si Ate Mary yung mag-push-up para kay Kuya Randy. Diba? Diba? Hindi naman pwede yun. Your story might start sad, but it might end with great joy. So remember these stories. Far from his potential, wandering on the back of the desert. And the name, eh, ayos yung buhay niya dun sa desierto. Pero Moses is called to lead a nation. Fresh start. Diba? He was a murderer. Pero tinawag siya ni Lord, balik ka. Tapos gawin mo to. Tapos gawin mo to. He was able to lead great nation, the great nation of Israel. Fresh start. A, big, a victim of her reputation known only as a prostitute. Sino kaya to? Si Rahab is rescued and given a noble name in the lineage of Christ. Imagine, if naiwan siya dun sa Jericho, wala naman siya doon. But then, naniwala siya. Kaya, he wa she was been able to rescue, been rescued. Stuck in a dead-end job, tending sheep, 
ito. Si David is anointed the next king of Israel. Fresh start. Widowed, alone, and with nowhere to go. Si Ruth is given a brand new, a better than imagined life. Ashamed, having given in to fear and denied the Lord three times. Sino kaya to? Si Peter is forgiven and inspired to preach at Pentecost and caught in a trap of dead religion, persecuting the early Christians. Si Paul is transformed and called to write much of the New Testament. All of their stories started very sad, as if they were stuck. Stuck sa trabaho, stuck sa kasalanan, stuck, um, stuck dahil hindi nila alam kung ano yung tama, kung ano yung truth. But then God gave them a restart and they had begun a new life. Diba? You are also, you will only become a new creation in Christ. So in 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Jesus can make you into a brand new person. Let me share how God changes um, the self-proclaimed good and perfect me and teaches me how to restart. So, this is my short testimony. Before I became an OFW, I am a daughter of an OFW. So, my, <laughs> my mom has been abroad since I was 8 years old. So, we have an unusual setup in the family. Si mama yung provider, si papa yung uh, hands-on house husband, di ba? However, life is difficult in that kind of setup. As the eldest, I was given the responsibility to look after my siblings kapag nasa time si papa. And being raised without your mom by your side, it's difficult. So, you have to be very independent na I was forced to become um, old at a young age. Not forced, but then as if I don't have any choice. And anyone na th th that responsibility upon children is very heavy. And it gets heavier and heavier throughout the time. So, may iwan ka sa bahay kasi magte-tender ka ng ship. <laughs> Dalawang ship na malikot. <laughs> so, yun, ganun ang setup namin. So, I cling to one solution. ba? I should have enjoyed my childhood. Na instead of, uuwi ka, tatakbo ka, uuwi sa bahay kasi kailangan mo magsaing, hindi ba dapat nandun ako na naglalaro? <laughs> hindi. Because, I need to face that kind of setup. Kasi, ayun yung meron kami. And wala akong control over that. I came one solution. Umuwi na si mama. Baka things would be different. Maybe things would be better. Diba? I hold on to that one solution that if I do good in school, if I behave properly, if I avoid troubles, and obey whatever my parents tell me to do, she might have a reason to go home. At alagaan kami instead of other kids so she might have a reason to stay with us instead of working abroad i just realized na i have this bitterness in my heart na feeling ko hindi ako hindi ako um ka hindi uh, hindi ako ano yun deserving to be chose birthdays after birthdays new years christmas Recognitions, graduation had passed. My mom didn't settle at home. I felt like I was not deserving to be chose, diba? I silently blame my parents. Why would I need to suffer the consequences of their wrong choices? They should have prepared for the future ahead, diba? Why would I need to pay the price? For their mistakes. Why do I need to carry this burden that shouldn't that shouldn't be mine in the first place? 
until ako yung din so no silently <laughs> silently in my hindi nala ni Lord dito sa Dubai to be with my mama and on August 9 and 10 2019 two weeks after I arrived during the encounter God retreat I experienced Jesus who is so real clearer than I've experienced before God exposed the truth na oh maganda ka lang sa panlabas pero you have that kind of bitterness sa heart mo Hine-expose niya na hindi ako holy, hindi ako perfect. And may kailangang baguhin dito. The unforgiveness I can't let go. The hole na hindi ko matapalan. My heart is wrong. My heart is so wrong. That in blaming my parents, I didn't know that I blame God too. Silently complaining that life is unfair. And yes, God confirmed, life is unfair. It is unfair when Jesus died on the cross to save me from my sins. When He chose me more than my mistakes. When He called me by name, yet even I am still a sinner. When He loved me first, despite of not loving Him well. God made me realize that I'm trying hard to please the wrong people. My parents, my teachers, etc. When it is only Him I need to serve. God made me realize that I am so proud for trying to control my life when I can humble and just surrender unto Him. God made me realize that He allowed me to walk on that path, protecting me from committing mistakes I need not to experience, producing a character in me that enables to fulfill my destiny. Preparing me for something greater, teaching me that all things really are possible with God. And because of, because of that experiences, I love my parents more. I do appreciate what their sacrifices are. Mahal ko yung mama ko, mahal ko yung papa ko, and I forgive them. It's not, hindi, hindi nila hawak yun eh. If they could just think back time, they could have prepared, but hindi. And then lang din sila, they stuck. But it doesn't mean that they are lang din kami. So I need to restart. I need to do something different. And I can only transform that with Christ. Diba? Those hardships made me appreciate what I have today, even the smallest things. Those hardships made me love my parents more. And those hardships led me to know my new identity. Before ako naging anak ng mga magulang ko, anak niya ako. I am a child of God and He gave me a new name. A loyal servant of God. Though the details are different, my story is similar to yours. God beautifully redeemed us from our past. We are no longer defined by what we did or what someone did to us. God has taken care of the past and the wonderful future awaits us. He rewrites my story and reshapes my identity. Kung my Lord na gumalaw sa buhay ko at tinama yung puso ko, sa buhay mo rin, my Lord na gagalaw. At kung hindi mo pa natatanggap si Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, please do tonight because there is surely that space na si Jesus lang ang makakapuno. Trust me. Because sa, in, sa, sa, sabi sa Romans 10.9, If you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Follow this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I come before you. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, for me to have eternal life. Dear Jesus, I heard about you, and I believe that you died on the cross 2,000 years ago. On the third day, you rose again. In this moment, 
I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Holy Spirit, come into my life. Make me the person you want me to be. Don't forget my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you for um, speaking through me, Panginoon. Speaking to us, O oh God. May the words, Panginoon, that you have revealed today keep them in my heart and, Panginoon, ipush kami to do something differently, O oh Lord. Salamat po, Father, for your abounding grace and an ending and unfading grace, O oh Lord. We love you, Jesus. Salamat po, Father, for the protection that you have given us. Help us to restart, O oh Lord, and uh, those steps, even if nakakatakot, even if um, hindi namin alam kung ano yung naka- future. We trust, we're willing to trust and obey unto you, O oh Lord, because we know that um, what you had prepared is beautiful. Prepared is something greater than we can imagine. O oh Lord, I love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, salamat po sa lahat ng nanood at nag-tune in for tonight. I hope na bless kayo. Share this message also to your friends. And also, we want to invite you in this coming, in this April 2 and 3, we have an Encounter God Retreat. Um, what I have mentioned in my testimony. So, um, kung gusto nyo pong mag-register, if you're curious, just message us on Facebook. Message us on Facebook! So, remember, God loves you. We are praying for you. Salamat! God bless!